G'day, welcome to the video. In this one I want to talk about rear sets uh, for sports bikes. The reason I'm talking about it is I've had a zillion questions from people about should I buy a set of rear sets, why would I buy a set, how much do they cost, how do you adjust them and that type of thing. Now what I can do in this video is I can answer some of those questions, I can't answer all of them. Um, when it comes to price and how much you spend on those, that's kind of going to be up to you. I would just say don't compromise by buying some junky part because you're going to get what you pay for. And I know that the prices of these things can range from a couple hundred dollars through you know, some sort of uh, cheap manufactured CNC type aluminium um, uh, rear set, which is gonna wear out pretty quickly and it may even compromise your foot position by virtue of the fact that they could break off. To a couple of thousand dollars or eighteen hundred dollars, I think the BMW S1000 set cost. But when you compare them in terms of weight and the quality of the material, it's just chalk and cheese. There's no comparison. So if you're out there wondering what a rear set is, let me explain it this way. A rear set is pretty much an assembly that you buy aftermarket or after the purchase of the motorcycle to replace the original factory foot pegs. And they come in an assembly where on the right hand side it's going to also include the brake lever and on the left hand side it's going to include a replacement gear lever because ultimately what happens with the rear set is it moves your foot position backwards and upwards so because there's a movement here you can't leave the original brake uh, lever uh, foot brake lever and gear lever in place because your foot wouldn't touch those anymore so it comes with those as part of the assembly in most cases now why would you want to fit a set of rear sets? Okay, there's a couple of different reasons. The obvious one is greater clearance. If you look at the factory original uh, BMW S1000 foot pegs, you'll see that they are the, the ones that you would see on most motorcycles, which has got a fairly, you know, a, a reasonable type of grip on the top surface, but it is a pivoting foot peg so that if you lean the, block of the bike and the bike actually pushes so far that the foot peg touches the bitumen, the, the foot peg will fold up a little bit and it's got a little knob on the end there, you know, which is uh, a rubbing knob meant to touch the bitumen first. So what's going to happen when you get the um, rear sets, particularly like what you see on the BMW here, is they end up being hard standing parts or hard parts. So you'll see this particular foot peg is screwed hard into the rear set and it doesn't pivot, pivot up. That's because the clearance now is so much greater. Right? They have so much confidence that you're not going to put that foot peg on the bitumen. If you do, you're probably going to fall over. So uh, you get much more clearance because by virtue of the fact that the foot is moved backwards and upwards. The second thing, and this is something that a lot of people don't realise, is you get far greater grip with a high quality set of rear sets than you do with the original factory foot pegs. The grip on the rear sets, like you see on the BMW here, is very, very aggressive. It's really grippy on your foot and it's a little round piece, so it really does get a grip on it. Whereas the factory fitted uh, original one has a less aggressive type of grip, which is just a little flat surface on top. And I know the chalk and cheese in terms of the grip that you're going to get on your feet. Now, another reason. Well, basically what it does is it positions your foot in such a way, particularly if you've set it up properly, that your leg, your whole leg position is in a much better position. So if you're going to the right, your left hand leg, right, is the outside leg. It's in a better position for you to actually lock onto the motorcycle by gripping the tank. So whether you raise your calf and drive your knee into the tank or you use your hips to twist, you'll find that the rear set positions your leg in a much better position. And this is where the adjustment comes into it because basically the way you adjust the rear sets is to make sure that your foot is in the position you want it, which is measured by how well your leg can actually grip the tank. The other thing about it is it actually positions your foot specifically in a good place, particularly when it's the inside foot around a corner. So you'll see in the case of MotoGP riders, their foot's in a very specific position. They rotate it uh, heel inwards, toe up on the grip, got a high grip um, foot peg, and it's just everything positioned in the right way to actually be able to ride at high speed. The, the other advantage you get with rear sets, and this is one that we didn't notice until um, we got a set on this BMW S1000 and it was picked up by my lady. When she got on the bike, she said she loved it because it was in a much better position because she actually used the front rider's, uh, the, the, the rider, I should say the rider, the rider's foot peg to get on the rear of the motorcycle as a pillion. 
and she found it was in a better position for her to get on. It had much, much better grip. She felt more confident getting on and uh, the pillion benefits, it was something that I didn't anticipate. So there's a number of benefits that you're going to get. Now, I just wanna cover the last one and that is the question around how do you actually set them up? I've touched on that a little bit in the previous comments. The way you set them up is through trial and error. And the way that you would do that is you move it into a position, right? Both sides should be the same, unless for some reason you've got some weird leg on one side and a longer leg on a shorter leg on the other side, which is my case. Um, basically what you're gonna do is set up both foot pegs at the same point on either side, but you need to experiment. And the intent is to get your foot and your leg in the correct position so that you feel comfortable attaching to the motorcycle, locking onto that motorcycle when you're riding around the track. So uh, it's gonna be a trial and error approach to that. So uh, the big tip I would give you, and this is the, the, the mistake that most people make, they think they get a set of rear, uh, rear sets, let's just whack it in the highest and most rear wood position. And that's not the case. You'll see that on the BMW S1000 that I have, I actually got mine set in the highest position but the f furthest forward position and it feels far more comfortable for me and my ability, ability to be able to lock onto that motorcycle and use my legs correctly so that I'm attached firmly to the, uh, the tank and the bike itself. When we do that well, we can take the weight off the handlebars and we can let the bike do its own thing. So uh, there's a couple of tips there. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, you know, I've answered a couple of questions. I haven't answered all the questions because I don't have all the information about rear sets, but uh, I highly recommend you get a set and uh, experiment with the way that you set them up. And uh, that's it. Have fun out there.